Hello guys, in this video we'll be analyzing the autosomal DNA, predicting the phenotype, the traits and the GD match results of a late Sarmatian from Timiasa or from Russia, from the Euro region, I think this is uh, Chelyabinsk or Ekaterinburgskaya Oblast, I'm not sure uh, what exactly Oblast that is, but I can guarantee you this is in the Urals and this Sarmatian lived in the Iron Age, let's get into his uh, genetics. And uh, this is his predicted phenotype based on DNA. Now, the YSEC result is completely, completely deranged. They did not even give him an eye color prediction. They just put the sunglasses over him. You see the sunglasses? The reason that there's sunglasses over the picture is that because uh, they couldn't predict an eye color for him because he wasn't genotyped for BH2. But uh, with my tools, with Nashakot and Ayakiat, he's predicted to have blue eyes, uh, which is why I depicted him with blue eyes here. And uh, with Snipper Free, he's predicted to have brown eyes. Uh, but it's a it's a very bad prediction because the top three predictives in peace weren't even genotyped, so it's it's just a, a pretty much a guess. And the with snipper freak is also predicted to have black hair. Once again, a very bad prediction. Uh, literally, it is it is based on only two variations. And with uh, snipper free skin, uh, he's predicted to have white skin, which is why I depicted him here with white skin. He did not have the European no-go learner mutation, which means. Uh, which means higher, more D2 dopamine receptors in the brain, which means uh, a slightly higher risk of schizophrenia and other illnesses that have to do with schizophrenia. Probably lower risk of Parkinson's, I'm not sure about that, but probably lower risk of Parkinson's too. And he had the warrior gene with the IE, which means he had um, AA in the Combs val met variant, which, which means met 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 genotype in the val met variant. Uh, the implications of this genotype is that it's a very European genotype, and the reuptake of dopamine with this individual is probably uh, very slow, which means more dopamine builds up in the system, uh, which means there's more attention, more motivation, better um, better performance when it comes to school and work, stuff like that. However, this comes at a cost, and the cost is that uh, people with this genotype tend to be less stress resilient. He wasn't genotyped for the main uh, variant in OXTR, which I called the sociopath gene, but he was genotyped here and here. He had the uh, sociopath genotype for sure. And when it comes to EDAR, he was not genotyped for the main variation in EDAR, but he was genotyped for this variation that I'm showing you on the screen right now. And here he had CC, which is a very typical European genotype, very atypical genotype for East Asians. So he probably did not have derived EDAR, probably did not have East Asian facial traits. When it comes to polygenic traits and illnesses, this individual had a pretty below average, like a slightly below average risk score for type 1 diabetes, a very low risk score for Crohn's disease. Uh, he also had a pretty average, maybe slightly above average risk score for bipolar disorder, a very below average risk score, a very low risk score for schizophrenia, uh, a very, very low risk score for Parkinson's disease, and he also had an average risk score for asthma. When it comes to admixture tests, this person is uh, basically like a mixture of Finnish plus something from the Caucasus or uh, from uh, the South Central Asia, but it's interesting that he's only got around 1% Neanderthal admixture, as I've determined from this result here. Uh, very not archaic, very modern individual, and this is what he scores with Eurogene's cave routine. As you can see here, he's scoring actually 26.5% West Asian. So this is once again a very typical result for a... Um, and 5% South Asian too. This is a very typical result for a Sarmatian, and definitely would be a very atypical result for a Northern European today. Uh, with the Oracle, he's closest to Tatars, so not anybody from Northern Europe. It's Tatars are in... Uh, Central Asian part of Russia, and he's getting modeled as a mixture of Tabasaran plus Southwest Finnish or like Tajik plus Southwest Finnish, basically a mixture of either Tajik or Caucasus related stuff plus Finnish related stuff. And uh, here is like the official G25 for the sample that's on Explore Your DNA. Here he's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Tajik plus Ingrian or Tajik plus Finnish. And um, he's closest to Mishar, Tatars, and Komi, and basically all kinds of Tatars here, which is not so surprising. And this is his result with MDLPK16. Now, you're, you're going to see that this result pretty much, and the, the rest of the results from GG match actually, uh, pretty much mirror the result with G25. Now, here he's scoring 7% Indian, which is kind of exotic, probably from BMAC admixture. He's closest to Mishar, Tatars, and basically all kinds of Tatars. And he's getting modeled as a mixture of Finnish plus, uh, you can see line 5 here is Finnish plus Yagnobi, or um, there is line 7 Russian plus Avar, or there is also uh, line 16 Finnish plus uh, Badakhshan. So to anybody who thinks that Sarmatians and Skiffians and all these kind of Iranic people in the steppe were just like uh, regular Northern Europeans or like re resembled Polacks or Slovaks, for example, uh, no Polak, no Slovak is going to score like this with PanDNA LK10 and the other calculators. Not, not a single Polak today is going to get this kind of a result with PanDNA LK10. As you can see with the Oracle, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Mardvin plus Pashtun or Mardvin plus Burusha, which I think are indigenous people of Pakistan. 
this is what he scores with Ancient Eurasia K6 calculator by Gedrosia. A very surprisingly exotic component that he's scoring a lot of is Ancestral South Eurasian. He's actually got more Ancestral South Eurasian than East Asian even, which is kind of atypical for Sarmatians in general. And with the Oracle, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Steppe, Middle Late, Bronze Age plus Bengali or Gujarati or like Punjabi. So there is some actual Indian or Indian-like admixture in this individual. This is what he scores with Gidrosia K3. He's scoring 16% East Eurasian, but um, judging from the previous results, this East Eurasian is probably not from like modern East Eurasian admixture, but rather is from ancient North Eurasian admixture. And this person is actually very modern, like not archaic whatsoever. Uh, he's got very little Neanderthal and gorilla like components on MDLP K23B. He's mostly scoring uh, human modern Homo sapien components, which is kind of uh, interesting, not an archaic individual whatsoever. And he's closest to Erzia and various Tatars here with the Oracle. And with the mixed way Oracle, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Finnish plus Tajik uh, from Yagnob or actually Yagnobi. Uh, and uh, he's basically getting modeled as a mixture of all kinds of Northeast Europeans plus all kinds of South Central Asians, mainly from Tajikistan. Thank you guys for watching until the end. Uh, the link to download this file in 23andMe format will be in the description. And leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.